What did I learn in Borderlands? What did I learn in Borderlands? Just because somebody doesn't shoot at you doesn't mean they're helpful. That one, no matter who you are or where you live, you're not safe at all. I learned that you're always on an adventure, but the universe won't help you out for shit. I mean, after all, you're off on this planet called Pandora that is pretty much hell in a handbasket. Ever. Like, you could be an old person. I mean, you might need some things done, but you're probably going to die later on the story. Desert wasteland is what you're dropped into off this bus, and you're looking for this fault. Most of the missions that these people are giving you are things that they are either too lazy or too afraid to do themselves. Then you have to fight. Weird hyena dog creatures. You have to fight. Giant bats from the sky. Psychotic bandits. And even eventually you have to fight trained armed soldiers. Everybody's got guns armed to the teeth. Spoiler, they really like to kill people. And you're given plenty of loot to help fight these things to make your way to vault, but they never give you what you need. Kill people, I guess you're good. You know, incendiary weapons are good against flesh, but you never get a powerful incendiary weapon right before the boss because everything's randomized. And especially don't trust robots, even if they don't shoot at you. Corrosive weapons are good against armor, but you never get one of those right before you have to kill something that has tons and tons of armor. Everything else sucks against it. Because they will annoy the hell out of you regardless. And the loot system is not kind to the multiplayer mode that it is. No, 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 no. It's a fun game, but it's not so much fun when you and your friends are fighting over who gets the better loot. Or kill you. The game just teaches you that life doesn't give you anything. You have to learn it. Or both. Another thing that I learned being a jack of all trades is worthless, and specialization is key. You don't really have to be somebody to actually, you know, I guess uh, be a hero. You get to pick one of four classes, but each class always has like three different routes they can specialize in. Borderlands 2 is really similar to actually how the classes are. The poor class are the ones trying to get everything done. You could go tanky, you could be a support, you could deal tons and tons of damage. And they're the ones fighting, doing all of this while the high class just live behind. And it's, it, even if you're by yourself, you don't need to specialize in team, you always end up doing better if you just pick a route and stick to it, than jumping around everywhere. What they have, all their money, they have the robots to fight for them, they don't even have to do anything. And I think that's a good lesson in life. You just gotta pick your path and stick on and eventually get to where you're going. It'll help you out in uh, all kinds of circumstances. And I guess there really is no middle class. I guess the middle class people are the only people that are really safe because you don't care about them like at all. Let's say you want to be a doctor. You know, you gotta make those straight A's. You gotta give up having a social life. It's all these bandits fighting rich people. That's pretty much Borderlands in a nutshell. It's just like... So in Borderlands, let's say you want to be a medic. Well, you're, you're not going to be able to heal people for quite a long time down the siren support tree. I don't know, it's sort of like America, I guess. But, if you stick with it, eventually you become unkillable, and you can heal your teammates by firing bullets at them. But not really America, because we don't really... Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. That's pretty much what I got from Borderlands. What kind of sense does that make? But, it's a good lesson in life. Just Stick to what you do, and don't wait. Yeah, that's what I learned. Thanks for watching the video. Like it and possibly share it with your friends. We really enjoyed making it, and hopefully you'll uh, stick around for the next one. Catch you later.